Stability AI have just released Stable Diffusion 3 and we're going to take a look at a couple of ways of accessing it. The number of ways of accessing it will increase over time. So I'm going to show you just a couple at the moment that, that both work. We can try Stable Assistant. Now this is a limited beta. If we click on this one, it takes us to the next page. The Pro is just $9 a month. We come here and we can either we can go in with Google or we can create an account for Stability AI. So we sign up and I probably it's easier to go with Google because you're going to need to use Google anyway. But uh, you can choose your own email and then once you've created your email account, just log in that way. Now, this process will take you to an account that works a little bit like ChatGPT with Dali 3. The other way of working is to go into the collab. So I'll send you to this page here. Click on the opening collab and that's going to take you to a page that sometimes runs a little bit slow. Here we've got the options for buying credits. You can get some free credits, but you'll probably need to buy some credits at some time. It's 10 per thousand. And once you're here, let's go ahead and we'll enable notifications that's useful for this particular site you need to be connected into your google account to use this we go to runtime and we change runtime i would recommend going for t4 gpu that one seems to work best save that and you sh should see a change happening here now we're going to connect it should confirm that you've got uh, the T4 GPU here. Now we're going to connect up to the, we're gonna install the requirements. So we'll click on this button here, run. And it may take a minute or two. Now, if you have a problem like I did there, I just had a problem where it wasn't connecting up here. What you would need to do is to come here and choose disconnect and delete runtime and then restart by connecting to uh, the runtime again then we can try again to connect with the install requirements and this is the general shape of things so you can come here click install require or run this button here and you'll find that as each thing gets finished you'll get a green tick mark and you should always look for that green tick mark that shows you that you are able to proceed. The next thing that we can do is to go to enter the API and you will need to click on this here. Uh, that will allow you to enter your API key. It's personal, so I'm not going to show you mine, uh, but you'll need to enter that into the API key. When you run this one, it should then allow you to go ahead and to run the final stage. It's a fairly bare bones environment. It's designed for developers. It is a development environment. So it is designed for people who are developing uh, their own websites or their own services. But unfortunately, I can't give you very detailed support if you have problems. But what I've shown you so far, getting the green tick marks, getting the API key, you'll get that from, from stability. And if you, and if you lose that one, you just delete the old key and create a new key uh, and then run this. Once you get the green arrows on or the green tick marks on all of these sections, you can go and start creating from stable diffusion. If we come down here, we can see the stable diffusion three and this one, you can generate images. You can see the images displayed down here. Now, once everything is actually connected, this is the account that I normally use. So you've got all the check marks there and it will remember your API key. So you, you don't need to remember that all the time. We can go down and go ahead and hit the key there to generate an image. And depending on your credits, you can go ahead and generate a few interesting image images and we can see the result here. So that's what you can do with the API. Let's take a look at the chat. Once you get, once you're logged into the chat, it will store your chats just like ChatGPT and you can get started here with the information there or you can just say surprise me and see exactly what it produces. Now the results that you get from this are Stable Diffusion 3 but you'll have more options on the Colab if you're using the Colab or if you're using an API there'll be far more options that are available for you including video.